What's up YouTube, it's AJ Watt back to you guys with another figure unboxing review. This time of the NECA one quarter scale Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael in disguise. Picked this up at my local comic book store. I already planned on getting him uh, way before uh, the first Raphael figure came out. Because I knew NECA was doing a... Uh, a disguised Raphael and I was mostly interested in this one than the the one without the trench coat basically so as you guys can see we have the kind of same packaging we got with the same other Ninja Turtle uh, figures so you guys can see he's already wearing the trench coat and does have like uh, the skyline of uh, New York on the sides and then when I lift the box up here that's a pretty big box you have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles right over there and the sewer, Nickelodeon, Raphael in disguise. And when I go to the side, you have a cool picture of Raphael with his uh, little Indiana Jones hat on. Then you have another image at the bottom with him uh, taking the hat off. And when we go to the back over here, we have a cool description of uh, the movie and the, uh, the figure posed up and some cool image shots. It just says uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Nickelodeon, and all the same stuff. have other pictures. On the top, it just says uh, Ninja Turtle, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and the Nickelodeon logo. And the real toys. And mostly at the bottom, you just get like warning labels, UPC numbers, all that stuff, etc. etc. So let's go ahead and open up this Raphael in disguise. Got you guys, so here I have the Raphael in disguise out of the packaging, looking pretty cool. Was able to play around with them for a few minutes, and man, this thing is freaking awesome. Really glad I waited on to get this uh, disguised version of Raphael. Probably just gonna get, Ra probably just gonna have the just Raphael to be honest, because probably my favorite character out of all the uh, the Ninja Turtles. Plus, my friends say I act just like Raphael, where I act tough, but I really can't do shit. <laughs> so that's the reason, that's another reason why I got this figure. He's just so awesome. So let's go ahead and get into his accessories, and then we'll go ahead and get a closer look into Raphael. Right, so for Raphael's accessory, he comes with a slice of pizza with, uh, looks like we see a little bit of mushrooms, a little bit of sausage. A little bit looks like jalapeno as you can see some of the salsa right over here too also and the crust looks like a raphael you can see a little bit of the uh little marinara sauce or some pizza sauce right there looks like uh ninja turtles are eating thin crusts today so that's pretty cool never knew that i thought they were a uh stuffed crust type of turtles so then here we have the Jose Canseco bat right over here, which is done very, looks just like a real baseball bat too also. Like how the uh, the brown, looks like, really, really looks like wood to be honest. It has these little uh, straps right, not straps, but kind of textures right over here for the bat, for the handles and everything like that. Kind of, it feels hollow too as well, but very, very nice. Nicely sculpted and painted bat. Then he comes with uh, his two uh, sides. Right over here. Kind of dirty right over here as you guys can see. Kind of, kind of like brown with a little bit of black. The, the handles themselves are painted brown. Giving it kind of like a leather look too also. So that's pretty cool. You can see they had it connected together in half as well. You can see that line going straight down the middle. They're not pointy either, so that's pretty good. Here's the other side. So that's awesome. And then he comes with two interchangeable hands right over here. Just kind of opened, open palmed hands. So that's the uh, the left hand. Then this is the right hand of probably him pointing at you. You can see all the sculpting and the paint on them. The veins sticking out too also the turtle fingernails go to the inside you can kinda see the paint on my hand too right over here too that's pretty it's pretty weird and then he comes with uh, 
the top hat over here and kind of the Indiana Jones look for it. It has a little ribbon on the left hand side. Painted very well, sculpted very well. It does have a little bit of texturing to it, kind of like a leather feel. It has a little hole right there for his uh, bandana. Nothing really on the inside, really basic. Everything's mostly on the outer portion of it. It's kind of a, like a light brown right over here with a little bit of kind of uh, dirt going on. Pretty cool. And then he comes with a uh, the backpack as well. Kind of a kind of like a wannabe army look going going on. You can see all the wrinkles going throughout it, the straps. It's kind of painted in like a kind of like a light olive green color. And then when you get to the wrinkles, it's kind of like faded down with a little bit of white, like a little white wash. Come over here on the side. Everything's painted nice on the backpack. And then uh, it's pretty easy to port these in, so you just make sure you wrap them around Raphael. And they just uh, plug in as so, if I can get them in on the first try. So, yeah, you, basically, you just plug them in when you uh, put them on because it's nearly impossible. It lets you know it's uh, right and left, too, also. So it's pretty cool. All right, guys, so here I have a close-up of Raphael, and man, this head sculpt, I think, is awesome. You guys really can't see it right now, but he does have a little bit of teeth showing, but I really what, love what NECA did with the kind of the reptile look. You can see the little texture and kind of that uh, turtle-looking skin, dash snake, but more, mostly looks like a turtle. The, uh, the bandana on him has a kind of black shadow which I think is cool and he does have like these kind of uh, kind of gray dots or gray freckles uh, going throughout his face and you guys can see he does have that awesome left scar on his uh, cheek right there so when I go ahead he does have like a menacing look too also where his kind of eyes are looking a little bit up which I think basically fits the Raphael character and I think NECA did a perfect job of uh, giving this uh, figure that look and when I turn the figure to the side over here, you can see the uh, the paint applications go throughout it. You do have like little black over here too also, which I think is awesome. And then he does have a kind of varsity red bandana, which is done very nice. It's not, it's not like a, sh it's a stretchy material, but I wouldn't pull on it because uh, you may damage it. And my Raphael head pops off very easily for some reason. I don't know why. But, yeah. It does have like a little button on the back over here too also. But I think this this head sculpt is just superb in every aspect of it. It's kind of like a huge Hot Toys figure. And you guys can see his teeth right over here too also. And then very nice. That, that front tooth is missing a little bit of paint, but probably going to have him kind of looking down with his uh, top hat like a disguise and everything as it should be but like I said I really do love the uh, the face sculpt on it right so for the trench coat I think it looks just like a real like a life-size trench coat feels like one the material is very spot on I like the way they did with the buttons all the straps going right over here next to his wrist Kind of his waist area, his other wrist. Does have a little collar right over here too also, which I think is awesome. Really can't describe all of these kind of looks to it, but then when you pull it to the side, you can see his uh, turtle shell right there. Kind of popping out. I mean, he's wearing a trench coat. You don't know he's a turtle, so that, that's, the, uh, that's the trick. That's, the, uh, that's why he has a trench coat. That's why Clark can't wears uh, glasses. That way, no one knows he's Superman. And Raphael wears a trench coat, so you don't know he's he's a teenage mutant ninja turtle. But yeah, this trench coat is done awesome. So I just want to go ahead and show you guys the trench coat. It goes uh, below his knees too. Also, it gives a little accurate look. And I'm not sure if this is on all the Raphael figures, but he does have like this little white piece sticking out right over here. I saw it on the the box. I think it I think it is standard, but I'm not sure. So let me guys know. Let me uh, let me know how your guys uh, disguise Raphael's with this little piece. 
I don't know if he has it, so go ahead and put that in the comment section for me. And then here's Raphael without the trench coat looking awesome as I change my camera settings. And man, this thing looks so freaking sick. And man, ah, oh man, this thing is like loaded with a bunch of details. Let me go ahead and zoom into the chest for you guys really quick. And boom, you can guys look at all, look at all that sculpting, all the shadowing, the uh, the skin's texture, the freckles going throughout it. Looks just so sick and smooth. Elbow pads look very nice. Do have the wrinkles on them, with a little bit of uh, a little bit of black. Uh, I forget what it's called already. <laughs> Kind of like a black wash effect. The belt looking pretty sick. Also does have black wash. It's mostly uh, brown. You guys can see he does have like a little silver beads right there, which is pretty cool. And then when you turn to like a little bit of the left side, these guys can see like the side of his shell. It's very dirty, which is pretty cool. Just don't know if it's supposed to be like that. And you come to the side, you can see the back of his elbow pads. You can see some veins on his arms too, right over there on his forearms, which I think is pretty awesome. And then the back of the shell looks even cooler. Let me go ahead and zoom out for you guys. Does have a lot of uh, kind of wear and tear going throughout it. You can see that right there. Nice wash. Does have like a little bit of a uh, kind of brown, kind of greenish hue going throughout it, which I think is fantastic does have more of those kind of silver beads going throughout the shell to the waist which is pretty cool man the detailing on this thing is amazing as I turn him around cuz he is a pretty huge figure it's not as big as the uh, the daredevil that I reviewed though I'll tell you that much then he does have like little holsters for his uh, his size and you can see the the Raphael thunder thighs right over there the knee pads get a little lower we get the uh, the Raphael toes the Raphael two toes looking pretty clean get a little stretch color through it you guys can see a little bit of uh, the coloring too it's like green a little bit of kind of uh, kind of brown light brown going throughout the whole figure and this thing is just amazing NECA just really knocked out of the park with this figure just an overall just great figure paint applications sculpting so let's go ahead since we think uh, since I think that the articulation not the articulation the uh, the pain and the detailing is fantastic let's go ahead and go into the articulation but one thing to note is um, I saw an Anthony customs review that he mentioned when you uh, kind of move the figure around kind of pose them around or interchange the hands the some of the paint does kind of fall off I do have a little bit of that uh, when I mostly when I uh, interchange the hands I have some of the paint coming off but it's really no biggie though because uh, like I said I'm having with the trench coat displayed so let's go ahead and get into uh, Raphael's articulation. All right, guys. So for Raph's articulation, his head can look down just a tiny bit, almost bar to none. Does look a little bit tiny up. Does look left and right. Kind of has a head pivot left and right. Has an upper torso, as you guys can see. It's kind of kind of loose on mine. That helps him uh, go uh, pivot side to side. Crunches uh, forward just a uh, tiny bit, not that much. Goes back a tiny bit too, also. Arms uh, move up that much, uh, move that uh, back. And his arms can go about that much right there. It could probably go more, but I'm scared of breaking the figure. Has happened before with the NECA figure that I recently purchased, the Freddy Krueger from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Hasn't been able to uh, get a good one because I'm kind of scared that the other one might break. So that's mostly uh, kind of the 
kind of torso right there. He does have, looks like he has two uh, joints for the elbow, but it only goes like about 90 degrees, about that much right there. Hands uh, fully rotate 360, just hinge down and up. It's not like a uh, Hot Toys joint or anything like that. Uh, the legs, on the other hand, they're on a ratchet joint. So that kicks up about that much. And back that much. Just has like a single bend at the knee. That goes up that much. Uh, has an ankle pivot. Has a ankles move down and up. And does have the ankle pivots. So a little bit limited, kind of in the articulation section. Because I mean the Ninja Turtles are very agile, but still my favorite NECA figure, or quarter scale figure should I say. NECA just knocked out of the park. Knocked out of the park with that Jose Cusenko bat. And then here he is next to my recently reviewed quarter scale NECA Daredevil figure. And just for a size comparison right over here, we have the Raphael next to the Ultimate Jungle Hunter Predator from NECA. And then here he is next to the Marvel Legends Juggernaut series Wolverine figure. Alright guys, so here I have Raphael all posed up for you guys with the trench coat on and the top hat looking hell of sick. This is probably my favorite NECA one quarter scale figure. It's just so awesome. The detailing on them is perfect. There's really no imperfections on it besides articulation, but I mean, come on, man, it's, it's Raphael, it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, looks freaking awesome. We'll be excited if NECA plans to do a Master Splinter figure, because, man, this thing is so awesome. This, this just makes me want to buy the other um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like Michelangelo, Leonardo, and Donatello, but who knows, but, man, this figure is so sick. Definitely going to be on uh, my top 10 of uh, 2018. So, guys, thanks for watching my video. If you guys like my videos, go ahead and thumbs up and also subscribe. Follow my Instagram account, AG Watt Reviews, for toy pickups and toy news. Well, just my my personal email. <laughs> not my personal email, my personal Instagram. Just underscore AJ Watt. Really don't like having two Instagrams at all. Just plan to have one on one. Just one page. So, yeah. And underscore AJ Watt. So once again guys, thanks for watching this review and you guys have a wonderful week.